As many of you know, Eufy makes higher-end HD security cameras that are feature-loaded. Six months ago, I uploaded a video showing a complete system that happens to use the S330 4K camera that you see right here. I can tell you after using the system for six months that I'm extremely satisfied. Recently when using the app, I noticed that one camera was not working properly, so I removed it and discovered that the IP67 seal was faulty. How did I know? Because on the rear side of the camera, right over here, there's a little tiny hole. I picked it up and shook it. And you can hear the water and see it dripping out right now. So there was definitely a problem with the seal on this camera when it was produced. Once I noticed there was water inside, I quickly contacted the company, sent them photographs of the problem with the water leaking out of the hole, and a replacement camera was quickly sent to me. It was very nice to see that the company does stand behind their products. Once I discovered that this camera had water, I did take a look at the other four, and the other ones are fine. So probably just a defect with the way the camera was sealed at the factory. They are mass produced and nothing is perfect. I've had friends purchase new iPhones that they dropped in water with IP67 and IP68 ratings that also experienced water damage. So it does happen. Since this camera is faulty and there's water inside, I figured rather than just throw it in the trash, let's cut it open and take a look at the inside. To the best of my knowledge, I don't think there's any other videos on YouTube that show the inside of a Yupi S330 camera. Looking at this camera closely, you can see it's a tapered design. So it would make me believe that this end here with the camera would slide into this plastic housing. So the only way I'm gonna get it out of there is more than likely glued, heat sealed. I'm going to take my Dremel and make a cut right down the side here very carefully across the back and then down the opposite side and hopefully at that point I can open it up so we can take a look inside based on the weight of this camera I'm sure it's going to be mostly battery occupying that space and less for electronics a little loose but it still doesn't want to separate yet so I'm going to have to take a screwdriver place the blade in here and try prying it a little bit to separate both halves. Okay, it's now separated, and in the process of pulling this apart, I learned exactly how this was put together, so you can disassemble it without cutting it open. I had the right way of thinking in the beginning, the larger end being tapered to the smaller end, that the internal components would be slid in to that housing. The only thing I was wrong about was that I thought it was going to be heat sealed so be a nice tight seal. It was not heat sealed. You pop off this bezel that goes around the camera lens. There was no indication that you would pry on it. There was no little indentations. It's actually hidden. And the housing is extremely thick. You're not going to break this housing too easily. You can see right here it's a few millimeters, at least three, maybe three and a half millimeters, eighth of an inch. I hit this with a hammer, does not break. So it's definitely going to withstand a lot of shock if you drop it on the ground. Once you take the bezels off, on the very front of the camera, you're going to discover four screws, one there, here, there, and there. And then, simply slide it out. And over here at the bottom, there's a connection for the solar panel. On the front of the camera here, there's a seal that's going to make sure that there's no leaks between the front of this unit and the housing. Back here, there's an opening. There's also a seal here. You can see the red seals. Another seal around here. And that's the opening for the USB. You have this little piece of plastic that seals it off. And inside this hole is the end that kept it from pulling out. Over here, looking at the other cover, you can see you have that seal between the front of the camera and the housing. There's another seal right over here. And the purpose of that seal is to make sure water or moisture 
does not enter the unit by the speaker. So the sound waves are going to vibrate on the back of this film and you're going to hear it clearly on the outside. So water looks pretty good from not being able to enter from here or the front with this nice seal that they have. In my case the water must have entered not around here where the plug was for the USB or even this hole because there's a rubber seal over that as well but it entered right by this rubber seal and you can look at the housing. You see the big hole down here? The water found its way in through there. The board started getting wet. Down here you can see there's a little bit of water damage. And that caused the camera to fail. You can see over here there's some corrosion, some green. So this didn't happen overnight. Probably the first time I got it, a little bit of water found its way in and over time it just kept accumulating until there was a fair amount to cause a problem with the camera. All right, so here, let me remove the rest of these screws. They're Phillips. I'm going to keep the battery pack because it was good. In case one of my other cameras has a battery problem, I'll pop out the battery and swap it out after the warranty period, of course. In case you're wondering, the screwdriver that I'm using is a PH. Zero, zero. Here you can see with that plastic removed with the seal, the switch is all corroded and even the board. I took the Phillips screws, there was four, one there, one there, and that one, and that one. So this should, oh, let me pull this connector apart very gently, like that. Now this should separate. Yep. Let's take a look at this in a minute. So here is the battery module, battery pack. Nothing here looks damaged. 3.6 volts, 13,000 milliamp hour lithium ion battery pack. That's a pretty high capacity battery pack. Right here we have the camera module or camera end of the unit. Over here is a speaker. See that membrane that vibrates with sound. Another seal. Now if you look over here, you're going to see right over here that there's water damage all through this area. Let's pop this off. There we go. Let me take the screws out. No. Whoop, there it is. Okay. That is the camera board. Oh man, this thing. This is all a mess in here. No wonder it wasn't working. I was getting a screen that was like infrared was on. It was always a red red image coming from this camera. This cover here is on here really good even with the screws out it's held down with like a black mastic. I don't see this thing leaking at all around the front. So you have your spotlight LEDs right there. Makes contact with that gold strip on the back. Over here on the side goes to this sensor here. I think there's a microphone in here. For that side and in here I believe is your motion detection circuit along with your infrared LED so let me just take this off and see what's behind it this right here is your motion detection and guys that is it you can see all the components for the s330 camera laid out and I must say very nicely designed and very easy to work on I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.